we have now arrived in improving management and monitoring section because it's not just all about increasing user experience and making it easier, faster, and better. It's also about monitoring and making sure the reliability of the services is given at any point in time from any location and any device. For this reason, we have had many conversations with customers, service providers, and Citrix technology professionals to understand what the troubleshooting experience needs to be like when a help desk individual is calling a support call, when an individual is looking at a support case. And this was then the reason for us to invent this new, as we call it, session network topology view that can be found in Citrix Director and Citrix Monitor. Currently, we are rolling this out in Citrix DAS Monitor, and uh, this will be available as part of the user details so when you review a session. The simplicity of this view is one of the things that is relevant to our customers when we collected feedback. At your fingertips, you have the machine name, the IP address, the connection route, as well as the delivery group and the published applications and desktops. Metrics such as the IC latency, along with the IC round trip time, and other very important metrics to understand where the bottleneck could exist, like network metrics of available bandwidth and uh, network statistics such as Wi-Fi strength are being presented in this screen. So and this makes it very easy to understand where potential risks like bottlenecks could exist or connectivity problems. At the same time, we also understood that application testing, so application and desktop probing feature, is something that today many customers have not yet started to adopt because the feedback we have collected was that single sign-on, multi-factor authentication, but also one-time tokens are in use together with uh, storefront and Netscaler gateways on-premises. So more than 45% of our customers reported that this was a blocker for them. For this reason, we now have also enhanced the capabilities of our synthetic application and desktop probing, which now allows the use of single sign-on together with storefront, but also multi-factor authentication and TOTP tokens when logging on through Netscaler. So this is a feature that is available in DAS Premium as well as in CVET on-premises premium editions and allows to test synthetically and scheduled if an application is able to be launched. And if not, you will also be able, as we see it here in the screen on the bottom, to easily read where in the chain the connection has failed, which of the components was not working. This is something which we, as of today and before, already had, so the, the hop view. But we have now enhanced this view with additional details, such as which machine, which address, and IP address of the server in question was uh, the point in time where it failed. So application probes and the results are now even more detailed. And this then also ties into Citrix Analytics for Performance. Citrix Analytics for Performance, and that's one of the differences when we look at Director, is not just about real-time issues and incidents. It's about understanding where in all of my different delivery groups and different sites, be it on-prem and Citrix DAS sites, an anomaly has occurred. And when we interviewed customers and also managed service providers and Citrix operation teams, they all agreed that before a support ticket is raised, an anomaly most likely will occur. Session disconnects. If there is a new image that has been rolled out, and is now failing to accept sessions. If there is an ISP outage and sessions are failing, or if the Wi-Fi hotspot is no longer working as expected, this all will cause sessions to fail. And this is a deviation from the baseline for the individual environment in question. So we have not just added new baseline insights, such as the anomalous uh, number of session disconnects. We have also at the same time added alerts for all of the existing and new baseline insights. Those alerts allow you to send out emails, but using webhooks also to notify Teams using Slack or also Microsoft Teams Messenger, for example. And when it then comes to troubleshooting and looking closer at what the potential root cause could be, we have now added session timeline view. 
session time learn view is an end-to-end -end view of the session in question end-to-end -end. so this means we are providing informations coming from the VDA side of things but also metrics that are collected from workspace app you will be able to see if there have been any other sessions that were not stable if this single user was reconnecting throughout the session length but you will also see metrics like for example the available bandwidth and the wi-fi strengths and with this the latency that was added on top and on bottom of the screenshot you will also notice you can zoom you can pan throughout the session timeline and what we also understood was that citrix help desk teams are quite unlikely going to have a look at citrix analytics for this purpose why we have added this as part of director in the session details with a button called session timeline view so also citrix help desk teams using and operating citrix das monitor as of today can with a click of a button see the same screen which is normally included in Citrix Analytics for performance. And when it then comes to improvements, the question is always, did we improve for the better or the worse? How is my environment today compared to two weeks ago when we had an old master image, an old operating system? Did we increase the user experience when moving from on-premises gateway to gateway service? Citrix analytics for performance includes executive reporting so custom reports which are currently in public preview where we add more and more templates that allow you to easily visualize those metrics collected and give you insights for example week over week comparison of the user experience week over week comparison of the network latency experienced by users or other informations like what is the best possible ISP looking at latency I could have in a certain country or city? And sometimes it's just changing and adopting a new ISP in a certain city and you get half the latency user's experience and with this instantly increase the overall user experience. When we look at analytics for security, We've also added capabilities when we look at session recording events. Since quite a while now, session recording events are being collected and presented inside analytics. And analytics for security allows you then to add on top of these custom risk indicators. So you are in the position as a customer to define what risk means to you. This could be someone trying to connect to any other destination using RDP, copy pasting files to an USB drive, or also to, let's say, create local users. And session recording does not need to record the whole session for this purpose. We just collect the events from specified servers when specific users or specific applications are being launched. And if a risk occurs, we can dynamically start session recording using analytics. If session recording is today not in place, even though it's part of every DAS edition, we also have added capabilities natively provided by VDA. So also VDA will collect information such as clipboard activity and will provide those unique to Citrix insights, like from what destination to which source, like host to client or client to host, was the operation, what was the content. So was it text, was it image, was it uh, HTML content? and was the operation successful but also size of the clipboard so we can easily tell if excessive copy pasting let's say between paste bin and a business critical application is happening and this information is what we also share with other seam solutions seam solutions such as microsoft sentinel or splunk enterprise or splunk cloud for example so you are in the position to share this information also outside of Citrix teams with threat hunting teams, security analysts, or anyone that as of today uses uh, Splunk, Sentinel, Elasticsearch, or any other Kafka-driven solution. And as we see here in the screenshot, you can select single events, like the mentioned VDA clipboard, or also all of them, and consume them at the same time in both of the solutions. And yes, we also have ready to consume dashboards inside of Sentinel and inside of Splunk so that other teams do not need to build those consoles from scratch.